Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. I am super excited to be starting part one of my mini series all on midwifery. So I'm super happy to have you guys here. As you can tell from the title below, today we're gonna to be talking about what a midwife is, what the different kinds are, and last but not least, what does a midwife do? And so I'm super excited to get into the subject. This is something I'm very passionate about. Just a slight disclaimer out there, I am not a midwife, I am not a healthcare professional, I am just a client of a midwife, and I have also been surrounded by midwifery my entire life. My mother, my grandmother, my aunts, and some other family members have all had midwives uh, for one another, one of their births or all of their births or whatever. So I've been, I've been around it for as long as I can remember. And so I know a little bit on the subject and so I've decided to go ahead and do a mini series on it because it's I'm passionate about it and I want I want everyone to know what they really are and what they do and anyway. So I'm super excited to have you here. Go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, so before I jump in and start talking to you about what a midwife is, a little bit about me real quick. I am a mom of three. One is still in utero, so one on the way, and I have um, have had two previous births with a midwife, and I have had one in the hospital and one at home. The hospital one was actually a transfer to the hospital, so I did try to have a home birth with him, but it was unfortunately a transfer, so I had to go to the hospital. But with my second, I was able to have a home birth. I have also been surrounded by home birth and midwifery, hospital births, all different kinds of births. My mom has nine children and I have been to some of my siblings' births and I have also, um, my, I have asked my other family members who have also had have had home births. I've talked to them about midwifery before and so a lot of what I'm going to be talking to you about is from my personal experience. I'm not a midwife. I'm not training to be one or anything like that but um, that's kind of my backstory. I've just been surrounded by it my whole life. My aunts and grandma also have had plenty of home births and not even just home births but they've all used midwives um, for a good portion of their births if not all of them and so Anyway, I just kind of wanted to tell you guys a little bit about me before we jump into the actual reason for this video. So anyway, let's go ahead and start with what is a midwife? Um, so many people are either confused or are unsure about what a midwife really is. And so I'm here to clear that up. Um, some of the, what I'm going to be saying is a lot of basic info and we'll talk more about like what the heart of a midwife really is too, but for this video, we're really gonna be talking about what their main job is and what um, legally and all that kind of stuff. So what is a midwife? Well, a midwife is a uh, trained healthcare professional who specializes in birth, helping healthy women birth and also beforehand, so and after. So um, they are really great with helping you with preconception, prenatal care, the labor and delivery part, and then also the postpartum part of your, pretty much your whole motherhood cycle as you're preparing for baby and even afterwards. So that's kind of what a midwife does. And um, they're, they can, uh, they tend to deliver in both areas, the home and hospital. Um, and so it really just depends on what kind of midwife you're talking about, which will also come to the different kinds here soon. But um, yeah, and I mean, that's essentially what a midwife is. They're a healthcare professional who's trained to help women in this time of pregnancy and labor, delivery, and then postpartum care. And so that's essentially what they do. They can, like I've said before there, they can birth or uh, deliver in hospitals, homes, and uh, I didn't say this before, but also in uh, birth centers. And so anyway, that's what a midwife is. So next, let's talk about what are the different kinds? Cause that is something that kind of gets people a little confused. And I know before I had kids, I wasn't even 100% sure what all the different kinds of midwives are. So this is for you if you're like, what is a CNM or what is a CPM or what is a CNM or whatever. And um, so we're gonna we're gonna break that down and we're gonna talk to you we're gonna talk about them. so so the first kind of midwife we're gonna talk about is a certified nurse midwife now what they are essentially is they are registered nurses 
who have passed and graduated from an accredited nurse midwifery school, education program actually, <clears throat> and have passed a national exam. They practice in all 50 states and the District of Columbia. So this is your most popular midwife, I would, I guess, kind of depends on your state, but um, they can practice everywhere. So they have really no restrictions as far as birth goes, as long as it's not um, high risk where an OB would needed to be would be needed um, to be present. Like if you were had to have needed, you know, to have a, um, a C-section, then you would obviously need an OB for that. But um, they are pretty much unrestricted as far as where they can help um, regular women, regular pregnant women birth their babies. So now the next different kind of midwife we're going to talk about is a CN or CM, um, certified midwives. Okay. They are non-nurse midwives who have a bachelor's degree or higher in a health field, have completed an accredited midwifery education program, and have passed a national exam. Only a few states permit CMs to practice. So they're more restricted with where and how they can practice. Um, I would say that I'm not very familiar with certified midwives. I'm more familiar with CPMs, which we'll talk about in a minute. And so, but as they're not as popular um, as other midwives. And so, but yes, they are a certified midwife. They're totally capable of handling your birth. It's just some states don't permit them to practice everywhere um, or even practice at all, which is really sad. But anyway, the next kind of midwife we're gonna talk about is my favorite, but um, a certified professional midwife. And they are also non-nurse midwives who have training and clinical experience in childbirth, including childbirth outside the hospital and have passed a national exam. Not all states permit CPMs to practice. So that's another thing is they're a little bit more limited than C and CNMs. CNMs aren't restricted really at all as far as midwifery goes, um, as where, but CPMs and C, C, CMs and CPMs are more restricted to your state. Um, my state does not have any restrictions um, as far as like allowing midwives to practice um, or the different kinds of midwives to practice. And so anyway, but um, yeah, so that's what a certified professional is or CPM midwife. And <clears throat> um, personally, that is my midwife. Uh, she is a CPM and she they have a lot more um i would say a lot more experience in the home environment than a cnm or a cm um, and so a cpm tends to most of their midwifery work will center on being in the home or a home birth um, that does not mean that they cannot practice in a hospital or a birth center but they do tend to be more home centered um and they're more they're more professional experiences in having home births and so anyway so that's what a CPM is. And like I said, that's what my midwife is. <clears throat> and then we also have community or lay midwives. That's the last category of, or different kind of midwife um, that we're gonna talk about. And lay midwives are essentially, they're not certified. They haven't gone to school. Um, they are not certified or licensed, but have apprenticed or received informal training. So um, a lot of times you, these aren't as popular. So you won't find as many midwives that are lay or community midwives. Um, a lot of people do prefer certified midwives who've gone through training and a school of some sort, and that makes sense. But um, I'm not to say to put down lay midwives. Lay midwives are great. Um, I have not personally really met any of them because they're not real popular down here. I do believe we have a few of them, but um, they can be just as good as a regular midwife. They just don't have the, the formal training. So it's more of an informal way of training them. And it can be from another midwife, which is normally what that is. They've trained under a professional midwife or certified midwife of some sort. And so that's where they've gotten their training. Um, and so especially if they've been apprenticed under another midwife. And so anyway, that's what a lay midwife is. And if you want that, that's great. Totally up to you. Um, they do not have a certification. So if you're looking for someone that um, can kind of go under the rules sometimes, uh, because like with, for instance, a CPM, a CN, CM, and a CNM, they all have restrictions due to your state. And they can't always, um, because of their certification, 
they can't legally perform like let's say my midwife my state doesn't allow home births for twins and um <clears throat> so no midwife can can um can have home so you can't have a home birth with a certified midwife for a twin birth you can do that by yourself i mean that's legal in all 50 states but <laughs> um you can have an unassisted if you really want to um but if you are cert if you're a certified midwife um you do have certain rules that you have to um stand by or live by and um do your practice by and so with a lay midwife you don't always you don't have to you're not certified you're not under any um legal stuff or anything like that because you are not certified and you didn't go into a formal training so anyway just kind of try to help get the differences out there for those who are interested so those are the different kinds of midwives so um I hope that was helpful I know it was kind of confusing for me at first but once you really just study it for yourself and really look into it it's pretty comprehensive once you get there so anyway so yeah that's what the different kinds are so let's go ahead and move on to what does a midwife do all right so first off I'll just go ahead and I'm gonna list off a few things that midwives do we've already covered that what they are essentially and what they um, what they do is essentially well I'll just read the list out and then we can I'll elaborate on each of those so <clears throat> a midwife can provide your family planning or provide family planning and pre preconception care so we already talked about you know like how a midwife can go like pretty much through the whole cycle of before baby while you're pregnant and then labor and delivery and then after baby and so the whole process um, is something that they can tend to be very helpful in and what they do and specialize in. And so they provide family planning and preconception care. They do prenatal exams and order tests. So a lot of times you'll have your midwife doing your prenatal checks, your, they'll check your, your levels of your iron and your different, um, it just, they'll order different tests for you. So like if you need to go take a group B strep, um, test they can order your test for you and you can go in for that <clears throat> so they do all that kind of stuff they also watch they also watch your physical um, and psychological health and so they're really there to kind of watch you to um, help you along the whole pregnancy and before and afterwards stuff and and labor and delivery um, but yeah they really try to watch your physical and psychological health and so they'll try to really talk to you and watch you and try to um, they'll advise you on different things so um, they can also help you make your birth plans and so they're really great for that because they have their they specialize in natural therapies and natural stuff and so a lot of midwives or at least most midwives um, are very they're really good if you're trying to advocate for a natural birth they can really help you if especially in the hospital um, end of things they can be there to kind of just cheer you on and be like you can do this um, and really advocate for your natural childbirth that you really want so um, they can also they also advise you about diet exercise meds and staying healthy um, midwives are really great for this especially because they're really trying to well they want a natural outcome and with eating and exercise that all kind of plays into your birth and so they can really, they're really knowledgeable on that, or they should be if they're a good midwife. Um, they also can educate and counsel you about ch pregnancy, childbirth, and newborn care. So they're great educators on this. Um, mine especially, I have to say, has been super helpful, especially when I became a mom and has been since then. And so, um, but the, yeah, they're really great with questions you have about pregnancy or childbirth or newborn care. They're supposed to know all that kind of stuff and if they don't know something or you need a specialist they can always refer you to one um, they can also they give you um, emotional and practical support during labor this is something that are that midwives are most not most important for but are really important for because during your labor you really need that support you really need that professionalism too and so when you have that emotional practical and you know professional ism um, all in, during your labor, that support during your labor, it really is helpful and so midwives are really good at that. And especially, I have to say, mine is really good at that too. <laughs> um, they can admit and discharge you from the hospital. I would say this is different depending on the midwife. Most of them can um, 
do this, but I would say that kind of just depends on what hospital and stuff because if you've been admitted, you can't always, the midwife can't always discharge you. Um, and maybe they can, that's something I'm not super knowledgeable on. So if that's something you're really interested in, ask your midwife or ask your doctor. Um, and so anyway, but they can admit you. I know my midwife admitted me to the hospital when I had to do a transfer with my first son or with my first child. And so she did do that. Um, she didn't discharge me though. So anyway, um, all right, they also deliver your baby. So that's something that most people know, um, you know, midwives are, oh, they deliver your baby. Well, yeah, that they do a lot of other things, but I would say that that's the basic thing that kind of everybody knows about midwives is they deliver your babies. But anyway, uh, next they can make referrals to doctors when needed. Um, especially if you have a high risk pregnancy and you don't know you have a high risk pregnancy yet, their midwives are um, trained to kind of um, sift you out, I guess, not sift you out, but um, really know, you know, the signs of a high risk pregnancy. And so they can, if they see a high risk scenario that needs to be checked out, they can refer you to an OB. And so um, when needed, if you are perfectly healthy, no low risk pregnancy, then they're not going to refer you to a doctor, but they can refer you to a doctor when needed. Um, and even if you're not high risk and you're, you know, you're pretty normal pregnancy, but you want a doctor for something like when we, um, when we had our son, we were looking into circumcision. We ended up not circumcising, but we we're still looking into it because we are Christians and it was something that, um, a lot of Christians do. It's becoming less and less a thing to do. And I think that's a good thing. I don't think it's needed anymore, but I'm not going to go in there, go in on that. But we were looking into that with our first kid because we did know ahead of time he was a boy and so she was able to refer to us different pedi pediatricians or doctors who did that and so um we ended up not using a doctor for that or anything because we didn't have him circumcised but just an example there for you they can help you in that department um so yeah anyway those are just a few things that midwives do um midwives those are all the basics to what a midwife is supposed to do and what they're trained to do. And, um, but they also, like, you know, I've said before, they really can help you with your emotional side of birth and really try to, um, help with that. Some midwives are a little less on the emotional part. And so that's a good time to maybe have a doula because doulas are really great birth companions. So like, they're really great for someone there to their birth support people. And um, cause you know, you have your husband, but you know, sometimes you both need someone to support you. And the midwife is busy doing something else more professional where she's checking you and doing all this stuff and where your doula can do the stuff that the midwife can't always do. And so that's helpful, but anyway. So that's kind of what a midwife does guys. And um, so there's not much more to cover, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and encouraging and it just helped clear up some questions that you have. If you have any more questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below and I'll answer as many as I can. Or if I don't know a question, I can always refer you to someone who does or ask your midwife. And so anyway, like I said before, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm excited to see you guys in part two. I'm not sure what we're gonna be talking in there, but we're gonna, I think we're gonna be talking about like my experience with midwives and all that kind of stuff and the differences between OBs and midwives. And so stay tuned for that next video coming out hopefully next week. So I'm super excited about that too. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great week. Bye.